Hi everyone, this is Leslie from purple.com and this is a free bonus lecture for the Node.js masterclass. In this lecture, I want to talk about one of the errors that you are very likely to encounter when working with Node. Type error, cannot convert object to primitive value. This lecture has three parts. First, I'm going to replicate this error so you can see it get thrown. Second, I'm going to show you a quick fix you can use if you're just trying to get past this error. And third, I'm going to go deeper into this error so that you can truly understand what it is and why it occurs. Part one. Okay, let's start by replicating this error. I'm going to open up this sample index.js file that I've created for this example, and you can see that it's very simple. I have a couple module references at the top, HTTP and URL. Then I create a server, and then I start that server on port 5000. When I run this code, it does what it looks like. It listens on a port, and when I send it a curl request, it responds with hello world. You can see it there, and then again in the curl terminal. So far so good, there's no error. Now let's introduce some console logging. Inside of the server block, you can see that I'm parsing the URL using the URL module, and then getting the query string object. To recap from the lectures, this means that if my HTTP request includes keys and values in a query string, like foo equals bar or fizz equals buzz, those will end up in this query string object. So let's log out what's ending up there. I'm going to add console.log query string object. And now when I resend the curl request, but I add on keys and values. Foo equals bar and fizz equals buzz. You can see that foobar and fizzbuzz get logged out because they are now part of that query string object. This is still fine. You probably have code just like this in your HTTP server. Now let's introduce that error. I'm going to go back to my console.log now and add some words to it so that I know what it is when it ends up in the console. I'm going to add, this is the query string object. And then I'm going to attach the query string object with a plus sign. Now I'm going to restart the server, go back to my curl request and make the same request again. This time, you can see I got an empty reply from the server, which means that our app most likely crashed. When I go back to the tab where the app is open, you can see I indeed got the error. Type error, cannot convert object to primitive value. Now that we've replicated the error, let's go on to part two. Part two, I'm going to show you a quick fix you can use to get past this error. It's a very simple actually. Go back to your console.log and change that plus sign to a comma. Now I'm gonna restart this server. Send the curl request again. Hello world. And back in the terminal, you can see everything logs out as expected. That is the quick fix. Now you might be saying, Hold on, I log objects to the console with plus signs all the time and it never has caused an issue before. Well, that's true. And if you want to know exactly what that error is, why it's occurring with this particular object instead of other objects that you've used in the past, then keep watching. If all you wanted was the quick fix, then you can stop watching now. Replace your plus sign with a comma and you'll get rid of that error. Part three. Let's go deeper into this error so you can understand why it's happening and how to avoid it in the future. First, let's review. What's the difference between logging to the console with a plus sign or a comma? Well, think of console.log as a function, just like any other function you might call. When you call it with commas separating the pieces of data that you want to log, you're actually sending a set of separate arguments to this function. So in this example, we're sending two arguments to console.log. We're sending a string and we're sending an object. Console.log will check the type of each argument and log them according to its own internal rules for logging different types of variables. That is, when something is a string, it knows how to log it. And when something is an object, it knows how to log that. So it does these processes separately. And we end up with both the string and the object logged to the console. 
Now let's change this comma back to a plus sign. When we send arguments to console.log with plus signs, we're actually not sending separate arguments. We're just sending one argument. Because remember, in JavaScript, you separate arguments with commas, not pluses. Pluses actually just manipulate variables and tell the node runtime to either concatenate pieces together or add them together. That is, the plus sign is an operator. It tells node to do some kind of work on those pieces of data before logging it out. Specifically, in this case, since we are starting with a string and then adding an object onto it with a plus sign, we're telling Node to reduce that object or cast that object to a string and then concatenate the results onto the first string. So we're telling it to reduce query string object to a string and then add it to the end of this first string that we created. And we are in effect telling console.log to only log out that final string that we end up with when we add these two pieces together. In most cases, with most JavaScript objects, there is nothing wrong with logging something this way. To illustrate this, now I'm going to change query string object into an arbitrary object of my own creation. So I'm going to say query string object is going to be overridden. It's actually just going to be a B. So I'm overriding the original value for query string object and setting it to this new object that I just instantiated here. So when we go to log it out, we're going to be logging out this new one instead of that old one that we got from the server. So let's restart this app and try that curl request again. This time we see that even though there's a plus sign, it worked. And what ended up being logged was this is the query string object object. This is probably what you were expecting to show in the console when you use plus signs in the first place. The left side of this log is the string we started with. And the right side, object object, is the string version of the arbitrary object I made here. Specifically, object object is the result that you end up with when you call toString, the function toString, on most objects in JavaScript. You can try this in the node REPL like so. I'm going to create a new object and call it foo. Now, when I call toString on this object, you can see object object is the result. This is the toStringed version of any standard JavaScript object. When we try to console.log the same object by adding it to a string with a plus sign, you can see the same thing. So when I call console.log, this is foo, and add on foo with a plus sign, you can see this is foo, object, object. This is because when you force node to cast your object to a string, it's going to call toString for you. That is, in order to console.log your object as a string, which is what you're commanding it to do when you use plus signs like this. Node is going to call the toString function that is built into this object, into the foo object. If you're a little lost, let's recap the important parts so far. We sent console.log two pieces of data, a string and an object, but we separated them with a plus sign instead of a comma. So Node tried to reduce this whole thing to a string. And in order to do that, it called toString on the object we sent, which in our overridden query string object, reduce that object to the string object object, just like it did in the node REPL. So the question is, where did that toString function come from? Why did this query string object have it, whereas this one did not? Well, this arbitrary object we created here was a standard vanilla JavaScript object, meaning it was created with object literal notation, and therefore it ended up, like most JavaScript objects, inheriting properties and methods from object.prototype. One of the methods it inherited from object prototype is toString. Now, how can we see which methods and properties are part of an object? Well, when you log out objects in a really nice console, like the ones that come with Google Chrome, 
you can see the prototype methods and properties very easily. So I'm gonna to switch to Chrome for a second. As an aside, you can do this kind of logging in Node using util.inspect, but it's not as easy or as pretty as when you do it in Chrome. So I prefer just to do Chrome. So I'm going to go to the Chrome console and create this same object that we did in the Node REPL and then log it out. So I'm gonna say var foo equals fizz buzz. And now I'm going to log it out. Now when we open this object, you can see that there are a bunch of methods stuck on to this underscore underscore proto key, which is where JavaScript puts prototype methods so they won't conflict with any keys you add to an object. As we browse through this prototype, we can see that the toString function is on its prototype. And that is why we were able to call toString on this object, because it has the toString method built in. We can even do this in Chrome. We can call foo toString, and we get object object. We can also log this out into the console with plus signs and get the expected result, just as we did in the REPL a minute ago. Console.log, this is foo, and we get this is foo object object. This two string function on this object's prototype is why normal objects or most objects in JavaScript can be concatenated onto strings and sent to the console. In the original query string object that we got from the node server, node could not call to string on it. And that's what that error was all about. But why? Well, in JavaScript, not all objects inherit properties from the object prototype. Specifically, if you instantiate an object using the object.create syntax and use null as the base object you want to inherit from, then your new object has what we call a null prototype. Now let's do this in Google Chrome. I'm going to create another object with a null prototype and then log it out. So I'm gonna say bar equals object dot create, but I'm gonna base it on null. Now I'm gonna log out bar. Now, when I attempt to inspect its prototype, uh-oh, no properties. This means if I attempt to call to string on this object, I get an error telling me that to string is not a function. So bar to string type error bar to string is not a function. And when I try to log it out with plus signs, this is bar. I get uncaught type error cannot convert object to primitive value. That should sound familiar, right? That's the same error we saw in Node when I tried to log the query string object with plus signs. And now you can see why it's happening. In both cases, in Chrome and in Node, the problem has three parts. One, we're trying to log an object to the console. Two, we're using plus signs and strings, which is casting that object to a string. And three, that object has a null or non-standard prototype and therefore is missing the two string function that is built into other objects. When all three of those things are true, we encounter that error. Uncaught type error cannot convert object to primitive value. Now, the last part you might be wondering about is, what's this primitive value nonsense about? Why doesn't it just say string? Well, in truth, when Node or Chrome attempts to cast an object to a format that can work in console.log, it looks for two functions, two string or two primitive. But the error it spits out is generic and is just talks about the primitive value. So there you have it. If you're dealing with this error in the future and you're dealing with objects that you have created, just make sure you're instantiating your objects in a normal way so that they are inheriting the standard prototype 
Otherwise, if you're in a situation like this one where you are using objects that you did not create and you have no control over the prototype, just make sure that you're logging them as separate arguments to the console by using commas instead of plus signs so that when Node tries to console.log them, it doesn't try to automatically cast them to a string or primitive because that will result in an error. I hope you enjoyed this bonus lecture. I hope it illuminated this error a bit for you. If you encountered it, as many of us have, I know it can be a frustrating experience. And if you're watching this, but you haven't enrolled in the Node.js masterclass yet, please do. You can purchase it at purple.com. Thanks a lot.